What's up guys and welcome back to the Bartender Hideout and welcome back to the Cocktail Countdown. Um, we're getting right up there, we're up to episode number 18 right now and we will be looking at the Boulevard Gay today. As you guys know, we will be looking at the top 50 most popular cocktails in America or in the world actually uh, in 2020 according to Drinks International. Um, and someone to help us out with that is going to be Uncle Bob. He's going to be telling us a little bit about the history of the, the Boulevardier in this case. And yeah, apart from that, I'm going to be making the drink and tasting it for you guys and to tell you what it's all about and if you need to be tasting this cocktail. So let's throw it over to Uncle Bob. Ah, hi there. And welcome back to story time with me, Uncle Bob. Today we will be talking about the Boulevardier, which is, or was, I have to say, invented during the Prohibition, which actually lasted for 13 years. Can you imagine not having a drink for 13 years? Exactly. These guys couldn't either. So, this is a recipe that showed up in Harry McCallum's uh, 1927 book, uh, Barflies and Cocktails. And this was actually not one of Harry's own recipes, but he did this uh, little segment that was cocktails around town, where he would find other, uh, other people that would make cocktails and would sign have signature cocktails for them. This was a signature cocktail of Erskine Gwyn, who was a very important man in that time. The Boulevardier, you, it's actually more like a Negroni, but with whiskey. The only side note on that though is that back in those days, it wasn't another 20 years before the Americans found out about, uh, about the Negroni. So that to me makes it a true classic that in no way got ripped off if you'd, if you'd say that would be the case. But yeah, um, I think it's time to let Kun show you how to make this cocktail. Welcome back guys. So I hope you learned something from uh, Uncle Bob. He definitely knows his shit, right? Um, okay, let's get going with making uh, our Boulevardier. Um, easy one, easy one. Yet, yet again, we, uh, we're doing only easy cocktails apparently in this cocktail countdown. Um, but we're gonna start off first with uh, icing up our glass. There we go. So let that be all ready uh, by the time we finish our cocktail so the glass is nice and, uh, nice and cold. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start off with our bourbon. Um, I am using uh, bullet bourbon like I do uh, normally. This is kind of my go-to when I when it goes to bourbon. I just really like the the flavor of it. Um, if you have a different go-to uh, within the bourbons, definitely definitely go for that one. Uh, I mean, you can even go for a rye whiskey if you want. It kind of suits suits as well for this uh, for this drink. Um, but today I'm gonna go for the uh, bullet bourbon. Um, so I'm gonna be putting in an ounce and a quarter. Uh, to make sure that that, uh, besides from a Negroni, to make sure that it really pops out a little bit more that bourbon, uh, since otherwise it might get lost a little bit in the in the Campari. So, talking about Campari, that's what we're going to be adding next. Um, for this one, I will be adding one ounce. So after this one, the recipe becomes really easy again. Uh, one ounce of Campari, and one ounce of our uh, sweet vermouth. Um, I'll be using the uh, sweet vermouth that Martini brought us, um, but obviously again, uh, you don't really have a choice with the Campari, That's there's only one Campari, uh, but again with this one you can just get whatever you have in your home bar or if you have something else that is your go-to, definitely go with that one. So we're adding an ounce of that as well, as I said, and there we go, that's everything already in our mixing glass. So. We're ready to get going on that one. Um, let's add some ice to this. Yep. Fill that one up nicely. 
and then make sure we give it a good stir. As usual, we want to really dilute the drink um, to make those harsh tones from the alcohol a little bit less. Um, and yeah, mainly to mix those uh, alcohols together so we get like a nice and balanced cocktail, obviously. Um, just give it a good stir. Make sure the taste in between to check out if it's ready, if you think you're ready to go with it. It's gonna go a little bit longer just to make sure we have that balance right. Um, you don't really, obviously don't want to over stir, you don't want to under stir, so definitely make sure that you keep on checking in the meantime how we're doing on this one. Let's give it a little taste and I think we're all good to go. Ready with that one. And there we go. Add it to our glass. Um, there's definitely, there is some recipes out there as well that have the boulevardier in a rocks glass with ice. Um, I always tend to make it in a coupe glass because I think it looks, uh, looks a little bit more fancy, especially in, the, in this one. Um, but yeah, it kind of depends on how you like your drink. I mean, if you add ice to it over time, if you don't drink it quick enough, obviously, um, it's gonna dilute a little bit more, so the flavors are gonna be mellowed out a little bit more. If you want it to keep the, stay the same as you made it, definitely go with this way of presenting it, because that just really keeps the cocktail the same way. Then, make sure we have a garnish, and we'll be using an orange peel, and we can squeeze it out over the drink so you get those aromas and juice from the peel in there as well and there we go guys that's our boulevardier um let's get on with tasting this one okay so let's give this one a go yeah this one you can definitely feel that the bourbon in the beginning, uh, because it's a little bit more sweeter, it just beginning of the tongue, like you can really get those flavors. Um, and then the further it goes along, you really get those bitter bitters from the Campari um, and a little bit from the sweet vermouth. So it, it really gives you that that round mouth feel that you want to have with a with a nice cocktail like this. Um, this is definitely one that is not for every whiskey drinker like me personally. This would be one of the last ones I'd, pro I'd probably uh, order myself when I was sitting at the bar. Um, but for people that love Negronis, for people that love whiskeys, um, this is this is probably a good a good match there. So I would definitely recommend when you love both of those to give this one a try because it might just be right up your alley. Um, but yeah, as I said, for me, it's not necessarily one that I would pick a pick out of the bunch. Um, Nevertheless, it's still a, a great cocktail that definitely deserves a spot on this list. Uh, yeah, and I think that's all for me for this week, guys. I'm uh, gonna uh, gonna leave you here. Um, I definitely want to uh, see you guys again next week. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe if you uh, love what we are doing here. Uh, also, leave a comment what you think of the Boulevardier or uh, any of the other cocktails from the Cocktail Countdown. Uh, but for now, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.